as McElroy kicks it off. Yes. It'll be, looks like an, a recovery, I think, as Cleburne County looks as if that they were able to get on the football and the officials now say that Cleburne County gets on gets on the football and gets the football in the ball game in a second look. But as your first turnover, uh, you know, just a, uh, a high end over end kick, you know, but he kicked it into the ground and uh, the, up, the lineman let it go through and the, uh, up back just mishandled the football. So you got your first turnover. So it'll be a first down and 10 for Cleburne County and still have the football at the Cherokee County 35 yard line. As Kyler McGrin, the sophomore quarterback, will operate at the shotgun, drops the throw. He'll chunk one down the field into coverage, and that is incomplete. Knocked away as it was the cornerback Malachi Horton on the pass deflection on the coverage to set up a second down and 10. It was almost intercepted. He counted on the through that right there. At all. And it hit the corner back in a bad place, right in his hands. He should that should have been an interception. So could have possibly had the second turnover, second play, second turnover. The big play running back Devonte Devonte Cantrell will be the lone setback, the starter for Cleburne County. As so it'll be a second down and ten to go. Snap in the roll to the near side, and the quick throw is dropped, incomplete. A bit of a low throw that time, coach as the intended receiver was Bo Clay to set up third and 10. Right, and I'm seeing what I had heard in the uh, past that, you know, Cleveland County likes to throw the football. So they, first two plays, two passes, so they throwing it around. We'll also see Grayson Freeman as well as Jake Littleton and James Cotton at the wide receiver spots for Cleburne County on a third and 10. Line to reach for the first down will be at the 25-yard line as we are just underway as Cleburne County kicked off. A little pooch kick and got the turnover off of a fumble recovery. Here's the keeper for McGrin as he'll roll forward for about a couple of yards to about the 33-yard line. Set up a fourth down and long. Defensively along the front for Cherokee County, you have Tay Diamond along with Demarius Diamond, Caleb Harbor, and Dalton Chestnut along that front line. And I'm sure they're going for it and for it down territory. They kind of put themselves behind the sticks coming out though with two passes in a row. I'm kind of surprised at that. Uh, you know, two passes. Gain of two gain of two from McGrin on the third down carry is the snap and the give to Cantrell as he needs the 25. They'll spot him, looks like just about a half yard shy of the first down as Cherokee County holds on downs and takes the football first and 10 from about their own 26. Well, nobody's hurt there because you still got them in, you know, you're too close to punt and too far to kick a field goal. So, you know, uh, I probably would have made the same decision that he made, you know, and, uh, you know, unfortunately just came up a half a, half a yard short. It'll be first and 10 as Cherokee County will take over the football as C.J. Gresham, one of those all-purpose athletes, will line up at the quarterback spot to begin tonight's ball game. Now a couple of backs alongside him. Snap, and this will be the keeper for Gresham as he finds a little bit of room up the middle and gets some modest yardage, about two or three, to set up a second down, and we'll call it about seven to go. We're just a little zone read to give them a little cross buck action. Uh, the quarterback keeps it and just follows his blockers up, up the middle, right up the gut. Now we'll see a tandem of running backs, including Damian Ramsey, Tay Diamond, and LaMichael Mitchell for Cherokee County. This will be a second and about eight to go. Snap and the give will go to Ramsey as he goes off the left side and gets another about two to three yards to set up a third and about medium to go as we've played about two minutes here in the first quarter. Cleburne County uh, turned the ball over on downs in their first offensive possession after recovering a fumble on the opening kickoff. So third down and they'll say about three after a five yard gain. Line to reach with the first down will be the 37 yard line. Looking at the receivers for Cherokee County, it'll be Amos, Horton, and Johnson, the primary receivers, along with Brayton Chandler, the H receiver, as the low snap and the give goes to number 21, Tay Diamond, as he's wrapped up 
in the backfield for a loss as you had that defensive line of Trey Brown, the nose guard, the defensive tackle Cole McElroy, and D. Prothrow, the star defensive end, come in and make that play for the TFL. Well, you got a flag just came in, so I was curious to see what this penalty is on. It could be a first down. Uh, let's see what our head referee says, and looks like you are right there, Coach, as they're marking that penalty yardage off on Cleburne County. Now, didn't see an official indication as far as the specific penalty, but you would think for something like that that it might have been a face mask. Well, the official is uh, putting the chains back, so... Yeah, the chains are back, but the football doesn't look as if it's going back right now. But we'll s I'm sure they'll sort things out as far as what exactly went down, where the football uh, needs to be. Uh, but Cherokee County already surviving uh, the first blow given to them thanks to Cleburne County on the kickoff as they gave the ball away on the kickoff. Cleburne County got the ball at the Cherokee County 35, but couldn't make anything of it. It's only got nine yards on four plays. And now we're sorting out exactly the last sequence of events on the third down play as they have the football right now spotted at their own 44 for Cherokee County. And as coach mentioned, the down markers haven't officially been set yet. And now our referee tells us as far as the last penalty, that it's a dead ball personal foul on Cleburne County. So now there's your free 15 yards and a gift first down for the Warriors. So now first and 10 for Cherokee County as they'll have the football from their own 44-yard line. What would have been about a three-yard loss was basically negated by that penalty. Snap and... It'll be the keeper for Gresham as he's in open territory. 25-20. He will score. Touchdown, Cherokee County. So that'll go down as a 56-yard touchdown scamper for well, C.J. Gresham. It's just a busted play. I mean, uh, quarterback actually fumbled the football. And when he fumbled the football, uh, he just uh, he picked it up, and apparently the defense just got out of line. It'll be Daniel Mejia, this one of the seniors that was honored earlier tonight for his first PAT try as the snap and holder there, and the kick is up and good. Our first quarter presented to you by Fields Land Management. We'll take the timeout. Cherokee County on the board first here on the FNN High School Football Game of the Week. The Calhoun County Commission, made up of J.D. Hess, Tim Hodges, Fred Wilson, Eli Henderson, and Lee Patterson, ask you to take a look at what Calhoun County has to offer. With our beautiful parks, neighborhoods, recreational facilities, historic sites, and museums, our citizens enjoy a high quality of life and strongly support the arts. If you are considering expanding or starting a new business, take a look at what Calhoun County has to offer. You'll be glad you did. Nothing as our first quarter is presented to you by Fields Land Management at 1755 County Road 6 in Heflin, specializing in land management services to include forestry, tree mulching, underbrush clearing, and a lot more. Mejia to kick off as Cantrell, the deep receiver, but it'll be a short kickoff that's fumbled and a scramble for it, but it appears that Cleburne County will control the football and hang on to the football after a close call, their own close call on the receiving end of that kickoff. Well, it looked like each team kind of a little jittery on the uh, kickoff. You know, the guy was back a little bit deep there, and uh, yeah, you got two farmers on the kickoff. They were just fortunate to uh, be able to get back on the football. McGrin will set up shot from his own 22 in the shotgun. 
as this will be the keeper to Cantrell going right into the teeth of the line and pushes the pile for some modest yardage to about the 25, maybe a little bit across the 25 that time. We'll call that a three-yard gain to set up a second down and seven yards to go. Have a momentary stoppage in play, but this is a big game for both teams. For Cleburne County, it would certainly keep their playoff hopes alive for the Class 4A playoffs and for Cherokee County, a win in their end. So the clock stopped at 8.48 left in the opening quarter. The scoring so far, a 56-yard touchdown run by C.J. Gresham, the senior all-purpose athlete, also a part of their return game. And still a little bit of a stoppage in play as you have, it's like Jacob Kelly all the way out toward the numbers, or at least at the numbers, talking to the side judge momentarily. Still, play's been halted so far, but this gives us a little bit of time to remind you that the 2021 season of the FNN Game of the Week, sponsored by Cofield Asphalt Refinishing, your asphalt services specialists, including crack sealing, seal coating, markings, signage, pressure washing, and reclamation. 12 ticks, less than nine minutes to go in the first quarter. 8.48 to be exact left in the first quarter as Cleburne County with their second offensive possession of the night. As looking at their offensive line, you have Christie along with Clanton Mize as the give goes to Cantrell off the left side. Just makes a solid spin move and gets a couple of yards across the 25 to the 27-yard line. And so that'll set up a third down and about five yards to go on what's already an important third down opportunity to keep this drive alive. Well, they've done a little misdirection on that play. They faked the bug sweep to the right, and the quarterback kept it going to the left over there. So McGrin will roll to the near side finds a receiver, but it's dropped incomplete as you had one of the backup receivers in Mayfield, Austin Mayfield, the junior running back listed on the roster as he drops the football, and it is a fourth down punting situation coming up. Well, and he hit him right in his hands. I mean, that's, that's all you can do as a quarterback. You just got to try to put the ball where it needs to go. You see Jackson Amos lined up deep as he'll line up at his own 46-yard line. Cherokee County expecting to get the ball for the second time tonight as they scored on their opening drive, which was aided by a 15-yard personal foul penalty on third down, and we have a stoppage on the field and a timeout called for by Cleburne County. Their first timeout will take the timeout with them, seven to nothing. Pay for Cherokee County on the FNN High School Football Game of the Week. Your neighborhood Grub Mart is your one-stop shop for everything you need when you're on the go. Grub Mart features the best prices on Coke and Pepsi products and is the home to the 99-cent bag of ice every day. And Grub Mart is your exclusive home for the popcorn bucket. Purchase yours for only $5.99, then bring it for free refills throughout the year. And save every day with your Grub Mart Super Saver card. When you're on the go, it's good to know Grub Mart has everything you need. Gas, diesel, and delicious Oleo donuts. In business over 78 years, visit your local Grub Mart today. Fourth down punting situation coming out of the timeout as Cherokee County has an early 7 to nothing lead over Cleburne County. The Mefford to punt as Amos backing up off a good punt and receives from his own 33. Sidesteps the defender and another defender gets some room and gets close to midfield on a rock solid, in fact, better than that, an outstanding punt return of about 17 yards that an excellent field position. Coach. Absolutely. He was uh, dancing out there. He's kind of sidestepping and dead-legging and uh, made an excellent return. It'll be a first down and 10. They will spot the football just a little bit shy of midfield as we are just a few seconds under Eight minutes left in the opening quarter. Shotgun. It appears there's Hopper in the game now at quarterback as he'll roll to the near side and finds his man complete. 
at the 40 in an I Care Alabama first down into Cleburne County territory as that will move the sticks for the second time tonight. And the receiver on that catch was Nathan McComb. That was actually McCall, just a crossing route. They had him line up at tight end, and they just brought him across the, uh, across the field. They faked play action. That's an RPO. They faked the play action and uh, hit him in stride coming across the field. Hopper remains in the game at quarterback as we will have a whistle by our officials. We don't have any official indication as far as a timeout. It's a timeout on the field for now, but Fields Land Management presents our first quarter and it appears that there will be a five yard mark off for a pre-snap infraction on Cleburne County. Right, offside. Fields Land Management presents our first quarter, specializing in land management services to include forestry, as well as tree mulching and more. As off the snap, a sack, a big sack as that is the first sack of the night as Hopper goes down at the 38-yard line. As we talked about in the pregame, Coach, Coach Burns for Cleburne County mentioned as far as his defense, that defensive line, the strength of their team. Well, they turned it back in to the hip. They had good pursuit from the backside, and, uh, you know, they turned it in, and they got it done. Hopper will have two backs alongside him. Shotgun, a play action snap as he'll step up under pressure and has to throw to the near side, complete as Gresham will get knocked out of bounds after he gets to around the 32 yard line. About a solid seven yards to set up a third down and about three. Clock rolling towards 620 left in the opening quarter as Cherokee County looking to extend on their seven to nothing lead. And the Warriors of Cherokee County already out of the huddle and operating out of the shotgun. Line to reach around the 28 for the first down. Horton in motion to the far side. Still plenty of time on the clay, play clock. As the clock down to eight seconds on the play clock. Hopper gets the snap and he will give to his back off the near side who gets the first down and gets close to the red zone. In fact, another I care Alabama first down for Cherokee County as so they'll extend the drive thanks to the run for the first down. So I care Alabama as you see on your screen providing all of our first downs tonight for Cherokee County and Cleburne County with locations in Piedmont, Heflin, Roanoke and Atala providing efficient effective eye care close to home. First down and 10 on play action. Hopper will go toward the end zone, has his receiver, and a flag on the play as Horton was the intended receiver. And what looks like in double coverage was a pass interference, Coach. Yeah, I think you had a little bump. I think the cornerback got there a little early there. So we'll inch this drive a bit closer to the end zone. As I like that call that time from around the – our side of the red zone that time, Coach, to go ahead and make an aggressive play call and try and go for six. Well, they got Gresham back there, one-on-one -on -one cover, even though they brought the safety over the top late. You know, anytime you see him isolated one-on-one, -on -one, they're going to throw him that 50-50 ball. So Hopper stays in the ball game as we've seen Gresham at basically like a Wildcat quarterback spot. And now Gresham will line up at that Wildcat QB spot. Tay Diamond will, no, it'll be rather Gresham getting the call, but Cleburne County does a nice job of defending that play, limiting it to a few yards that time. Set up a second down, and we'll call it about seven yards or so to go. About five minutes left to go in the first quarter, and if you did listen to the, or watch rather, the FNN Tuesday Night Coaches show, C.J. Gresham, a transfer from nearby Sachs High School. To the near side, the play will get inside the five yard line, maybe a little bit closer to the four. It'll be a third down and about medium to go, in it, but an opportunity for Cleburne County to make a stop inside their own 10. Yeah, absolutely. Third down, they'll say about three to go. 
As Cl Cleburne County looking to at least stay in this game early, but Cherokee County an opportunity for them to get up two scores and really set the tempo for this game. Two backs alongside Gresham. Snap and the give going off of left tackle. That'll get about a couple of yards. They'll set up a fourth down. What a good stop so far for Cleburne County defensively as they're bending but not breaking. That's now a fourth down. And it appears that the offense for Cherokee County will return to the field and go for it on fourth down. Fourth down and one. They can get the first down. Cherokee County comes out scoring the touchdown as he'll be Gresham keeping off the left side. And he should be close to, if not having, his first down. But let's see where they spot the ball. It'll depend on the spot, it appears, as it looks like, Coach, that Cleburne County might have gotten their stop on fourth down. Absolutely. Uh, they, they could get a first down, but it looked like he counted. Instead of putting his head down, he tried to dance around him, and uh, they, it actually worked against him. So the fourth down call backfires as Cleburne County will take control of the football from deep in their own territory at the three-yard line. Kyler McGrin will line up in the pistol as he'll hand off to Cavender, his running back, who gets minimal yardage just shy of the five-yard line. So up a second down and long to go. And that was a big stop for Cleburne County defensively. Now, Coach, they need to try and pound out some first downs to get their defense some rest. Well, they got themselves pent back, and you want to get out and back there, you know, they definitely are uh, – Cherokee County has them pent back, so you want to kind of give yourself some room to operate. Here's the pass over the middle, and that is incomplete, intended for his man Gross, as he had him around the first down marker. Is well, he had the pass. They're just dropping, you know, they're dropping a lot of passes. I think, Coach, that's already like their third drop of the night, and we're not even out of the first quarter. In fact, two of those drops, as we'll see here, would have gone for first downs. Good protection that time, and that's right in the numbers, Coach. So we'll have a whistle and a stoppage in play on the field with 3.02 to go. And an offside, so another penalty this time for Cherokee County. That gives a little breathing room for Cleburne County and a little easier opportunity now to try and get a first down. As the line to reach the first down is just beyond the 13. McGrin setting up in the shotgun with Cantrell, his lone receipt setback as the throw near side to Clay. A nice catch right on the sideline, just shy of the 20, and that is good enough for an I Care Alabama first down. That's a timing route. He threw a hitch route, and you'll notice the receiver as he came out. Uh, the ball was thrown. The ball was thrown before he ever got out of his break. And uh, so you can tell that's a timing route between those two guys. Here's the keeper for Cantrell as he gets across the 20 to the 23-yard line. That first down throw from McGrin to Clay, by the way, was the first first down of the ball game for Cleburne County as the Tigers will now have a second down and six off of a four-yard Cantrell run on first down. Two and a half minutes to go in the opening quarter. Play action as McGrin under pressure as he'll throw to the far side and just throws it away smartly, incomplete. Right, that's a great, excellent throw that he sprinted out, had pressure on him, and the receiver was tightly covered. So, you know, you just want to throw that one away. You want to eat it. Cherokee County defensively, Diamond, Tay, and Demarius Diamond, along with Harbor and Chestnut along the front line. Linebackers Pruitt, Lloyd, and Wheeler. And the secondary, Gresham and Horton, the corners, and Amos and Ramsey are the safeties. So it'll be a third down and six to go. Line to reach for the first down will be the 29-yard line. McGrinch setting up in the shotgun, so he'll get the snap. He'll throw near side, and that's out of bounds, looking for Bo Clay on tight coverage that time, and a fourth down punting situation coming up. Well, and he got pressure from the left side, too. Uh, he got his arm hit on that throw, so, you know, that in turn made the ball sail a little bit high. 
So it'll be fourth down and six yards to go as Amos will set up for Cherokee County on the punt return from his own 45. Seven to nothing, Cherokee County with the advantage. About two minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. A good kick that time that will land inside the 35 and gets a little bit more of a Cleburne County roll and will be downed at the 37 of Cherokee County with a little bit over two minutes to go, as you see on the top portion of your screen, with Cherokee County leading 7 to nothing thanks to C.J. Gresham's 56-yard touchdown run on the opening possession of the ball game offensively for the Cherokee County Warriors. Now, playoff implications on the line for tonight as Cherokee County can punch their ticket to the playoffs with the W. And Cleburne County certainly would feel comfortable if they can win out as far as region play is concerned. But a win tonight would certainly help out their cause. This is the next to last week of region play across the state of Alabama as Hopper will give off up the middle to Tay Diamond as he gets the I Care Alabama first down across the 45, close to midfield, as he'll spot the ball about the 47-yard line. It was just inside zone, and uh, he got he got in on them pretty quickly. You know, they didn't have time to react. First down and 10 as you have both Mitchell and Diamond, the running backs. Shotgun for Hopper. This will be the give going to Mitchell as he will get taken down around the line of scrimmage, maybe for minimal yardage that time as you had Brady, Brody Higgins, rather, the free safety senior helping out on the tackle. Under two minutes to go. In fact, rolling under 90 seconds left in the first quarter. Cherokee County with good field position as they'll have a second down and we'll say 10 after no gain on the last run from Mitchell. Play action for Hopper under pressure, and he's going down inside his own 40-yard line. Excellent discipline that time, Coach, from Nate Adams to read the play action and get the sack. Well, they had two guys on the outside that were unblocked. I mean, they were just totally unblocked. I'll tell you, that's, some, that's a well-coached ball player right there. Absolutely. So it'll be a third and about a quarter mile to go. As we're around, well, under a minute to go in the first quarter. So third down and officially 21 off of an 11 yard sack by the outside linebacker, Nate Adams, as we'll have a whistle blown and a timeout called for by Cherokee County. Their first of the night, both teams have two timeouts le left in the first half. We'll take the timeout with them. Cherokee County leading seven to nothing. You finally found the perfect car in racing blue. You even got them to throw in the LED fog lights for free. Auto owners insures your car because some people never learn to parallel park. That's simple human sense. Ask Alliance Insurance in Heflin if auto owners make sense for you. Keep going, more. No, no! Third down and about a quarter mile to go. Exactly 21 yards to go as we begin the second quarter of play. Or actually, they'll still say the end of the first quarter as the throw downfield is incomplete. As they had an open receiver coach behind the defense that time, but just misfiring was Hopper. Well, he had him beat. If you look right there, he had him beat, and uh, he just uh, overthrew him. Now that was a wide open receiver. Just misfiring that time, so a fourth down. And 21, and the first time that we will see Mejia come in for, to punt. Daniel Mejia, the six foot, 180 pound senior place kicker and punter. As he's already made an extra point and gets a rocket shot punt off that lands inside the 10 and will get a lateral roll 
around the nine yard line. That was an outstanding kick coach of 54 yards on the punt. Well, he barely got it off though. He had three guys on him. Actually, one of the guys kind of slightly ran into him. The official took a long look at him, but decided on a no call. But it was close, close to being blocked. The 2021 season of the FNN Game of the Week, sponsored by the Calhoun County Commission. If you're looking for the perfect place to live or start a new business, take a look at what Calhoun County has to offer. So we're still not quite out of the first quarter, so they stopped the clock for the timeout, and so still a few ticks left in the first quarter as this will be the keeper for McGrin as he'll meet one of the defensive linemen that time for Cherokee County. And that appeared to be Demarius Diamond that made the stop for a loss of one, maybe two, as we are now at the end of our first quarter. All right, 15 seconds. <laughs> a, a little strange first quarter, but Cherokee County leading thanks to C.J. Gresham's 56-yard touchdown run as we go to the second quarter with the Cherokee County Warriors up 7-0. Cofield Asphalt Refinishing is Northeast Alabama's go-to source for exterior parking lot maintenance. We provide a broad range of products and services in the asphalt seal coating and striping industry. Whether it's for a commercial or industrial customer or helping serve other contractors like ourselves, we're here to serve our community with over 25 years experience. Get a free estimate. Call us at 256-454-5336 or contact Cofield Asphalt Refinishing. Serving Calhoun County for over 30 years, Crawford Office Supply offers selection, convenience, and low prices. Choose from a wide variety of office furnishings featured in their huge showroom. With savings of 50 to 70% off scratch and dent items, you'll find it all from pens and paper to janitorial supplies at Crawford Office Supply, including on-site printing, all backed up by unmatched personal service and free delivery to local business. Crawford Office Supply, 301 South Layton Avenue in Anniston. Remember, buy local, it matters. Our first quarter is brought to you by Fields Land Management at 1755 County Road 6 in Heflin, specializing in land management services to include forestry, tree mulching, underbrush clearing, fence and property line maintenance, and path clearing. We begin the second quarter with Cantrell getting the call, and it'll be a first down carry that'll get them from outside the shadows of their own goal line and take the football to across the 20 to near the 25-yard line. And it looks as if, Coach, that uh, after that fourth down stop just shy of what would have been maybe Cherokee County's second uh, scoring drive, that Cleburne County is starting to get a little bit of momentum here. Right. He took a um, – they down a little misdirection there. You know, that's uh, – that keep you back to the line of scrimmage, uh, similar to what Gus Malzahn used to do at Auburn, and then everybody turn around and you, you, you give them some line movement and then snap the football, and that's what Cleveland County was able to do, and uh, it got them a first down. They are taking a look at that star running back, Devontae Cantrell, for Cleburne County. Hope he's okay. And certainly with one of their most important players, Coach, they want to make sure everything it's okay with that fine young man as you've got it's like the coaches and the training crew are taking a look at Cantrell. But we'll remind you as well that the 2021 season, the FNM Game of the Week, sponsored by FNM Bank, home of the high school spirit card, service solutions, strength isn't just a tagline. At FNM Bank, we're here for you. Well, he took a blindside shot to the leg, lower body there, just kind of probably – Caught him by surprise, and he was full of speed. You know, I'm sure he'll be able to walk it off. Looks like Cantrell, as you mentioned, Coach, definitely looking to try and walk it off as we'll look ahead to next week for us and one of the biggest games for any classification in the state next week, Coach. Leads at Alexandria to arguably two of the best teams in the entire state in Class 5A for our game of the week next Absolutely. week. Absolutely. 
So, as always, be sure to tune in to the Tuesday Night Coaches Show from Struts Wings. And I'll tell you, last that was a good interview that our own Jim Jacobs did with uh, Coach Jacob Kelly and a couple of the star players in Ramsey as well as Gresham that he had on Tuesday. So, in all, if you miss whether it's our coaches shows or any one of our games, we do have it as well on our social media platforms on demand. First down, or rather the second down play, will go back to about the, the line of scrimmage. Just underway here in the second quarter, C.J. Gresham's 56-yard touchdown run on the opening drive for Cherokee County offensively, the only drive that they had, only touchdown, and the only scoring for either team so far. Well, they kind of ran that same little misdirection play, you know, quick break from the huddle again, but uh, Cherokee County was ready for it that time. McGrin lining up in the shotgun, and now in at running back is the backup number nine, Jacob Cavender, the sophomore. As we have a stoppage in play with 11 minutes and a tiny bit of change to go in the opening half. And looks as if they're going to mark this one back, back for a pre-snap infraction. Appears the false start coach that went on Cleburne County. Right. Looked like the receiver moved a little bit. So second down and a short 15, we'll call it. McGrin calling out his signals. Play clock, plenty of time on that. About 12 seconds on the play clock. Snap for McGrin as he'll set up. Gets good protection and throws down the field for Freeman, and that is dropped on an interception op opportunity that time for Cherokee County's incomplete as Malachi Horton on the coverage. Yes, that was close to being an interception right there. If you look, he had he had the guy right here. Uh, he was uh, covered, and uh, he just overthrew him right there. It should have been an interception again. In fact, we've seen a lot of drops for both teams, at least for Cherokee County in their defensive backfield in about three or four drops already for Cleburne County's wide receivers as we have a whistle on the field by our Alabama High School Athletic Association officials with 10 minutes and 44 seconds to go in the first half. A sideline warning, the first of the ball game for Cherokee County. The second one would mean a mark off for the Warriors of Cherokee County. But right now, no harm, no foul, as we have a third and a long 15 to go with the line to reach for the first down just across the 30. Well, you know, they said defensive backs are receivers who can't catch the football, so that may explain why they're dropping so many. They dropped two already. It should have been clear interception. By the way, all of our penalties will be told to us by Jimmy Buckaloo, the referee for tonight's game. Snap and the give will go to Cavender as he's wrapped up, in fact, swallowed up in the backfield for a big, big loss that time as you had Tay Diamond and Caleb Harbor on the TFL. A good read that time by both Harbor and Tay Diamond as they were able to yank Cavender, the backup running back, for a loss as that'll be a fourth down punting situation as that was a loss of about six yards that time. We have the snap and the punt as Amos retreating as he'll watch it drop inside the 45 and now go out of bounds at the Cleburne County 48 yard line. Nine minutes and 55 seconds on our scoreboard clock here at Warrior Stadium and in addition to our game of the week next week, be sure to watch this week's FNN Coaches Show from Struts Wings, 90 minutes of high school football coverage. So that Jim, I'm sure, will take a look back at this game, all of the region games, and certainly a big look ahead to Leeds and Alexandria, our FNN Game of the Week next Friday. And that'll be a good one right there. Oh, no doubt about that one, Coach. And you know certainly a few things about good ones. Snap 
And the keeper for Gresham off the right side as he has room 30. Breaks the tackle with a flag on the play as Gresham will go into the end zone for the touchdown. But, Coach, I think where that flag was thrown, this is coming back. Right. I think he got a hole on the play uh, by the receiver. And uh, it's just unfortunate, but it's a great run by Gresham. Gresham has good stop and go speed. Looks like he started and he stops, and then he can go back. He can pick his speed back up pretty quickly. Right now, at least early on, still a whole half and about half of this quarter. Well, about still three quarters of this quarter to go. And maybe a spot foul, too. I don't know. In the hospital, uh, maybe yeah. a spot foul. Yeah. So. I think you're right on that. Oh, question. actually, you had a hold on. Cleveland. Let's see. So they say the penalty goes on Cleburne County. So that run. Looks like not only will be in addition to an I Care Alabama first down, that's going to be a touchdown of 48 yards for C.J. Gresham. Usually, Coach, when you see a flag thrown from where it was thrown, that would usually indicate a hold, but not that time. Okay, they just reversed it off. Jim was giving my replay. I wanted to see if we could, if I could pick it up. Uh, on the replay cam, uh, but apparently uh, Mr. Buckaloo changed the call and he called holding on uh, on, a uh, on Cherokee, uh, Cherokee County. County. So I didn't see a hold on the uh, replay there. So, so but this is, I, and I oh, thought it was uh, coming back, but yes. our officials got it right, did their jobs. So the football will be going back, it appears, to the original line of scrimmage, I think, where they're going to spot the football, or at least close to it. So take that six points off the board. Would have been a big six points in this ball game for Cherokee County that remains at now seven to nothing. And I'm sure you'll see that play again. You know, they actually ran that play to the boundary, you know, and uh, he showed great stop and go speed. Snap and the straight ahead give will go to Pittman. So he'll lower his head and get maybe a yard that time. Under 10 minutes to go until halftime. What's been a defensive struggle so far as Cleburne County was able to stave off yeah. one of Cherokee County's drives inside the five yard line. But so far, C.J. Gresham's 56-yard touchdown on their opening drive has stood as far as the lead goes for Cherokee County. Absolutely, and he made two great runs, and I'm sure you know. Here's the give and a good read that time for the Cleburne County defense as you had Cole McElroy, one of the defensive linemen, the defensive tackle, making the tackle for loss. And I don't know if that was a give, an automatic give, if it was a read, because it appeared to me that Gresham may have should have pulled that football, and uh, he would have had a lot of green turf to his left if he'd have kept it going around. But uh, if, if it was a give, then, uh, you know, he made the right decision. Three receivers will line up at the far side, one to the near side. The shotgun is now the throwing quarterback hopper in the game on third and long as he'll step up and chunk it down the field into coverage, and that is incomplete intended for C.J. Gresham. As that'll be now a fourth down situation coming up and a good defensive stand for Cleburne County and punting time for the Warriors. Well, and he threw in the double coverage on that. That was just a terrible read. Uh, you know, Gresham had a... Uh, safety behind him and he had a cornerback underneath him and uh you know uh that's the kind of pass you only throw to a randy moss or jerry rice you know you don't want to make that pass you know at the high school level unless you have a receiver that capabilities you know so fourth down and very long to go as we'll have the deep returner and jake littleton for cleburne county receiving daniel mejia's punt which is a spinning line drive to the far side, rolling inside the five, and does it get into the end zone? It looks as if they're going to spot that football right around the one-yard line. And that's tough. Excellent job. That special team's making their presence known right there. You know, you want to down it off the one-yard line. I mean, 8-11 to go until halftime. 
as Cleburne County has found themselves backed up deep in their own territory now. I think three consecutive drives as far as their starting field position. So they'll have the football right in the shadows of their own goal post. Well, you don't want to take a, a, a sack here, a tackle for a loss, because it results on a safety right here. Matthew Brown is the lone setback as Grin gets the snap and will roll to the near side. Uh, looking for help as he'll now throw down the field and has a receiver complete at the 20 as Gross still on his feet as he will take it across the 30 to the 34-yard line, and that's a big play to give them a little breathing room. Great coach. throw, and the cornerback gets caught looking in the backfield. If you look right here, if you look right there, you're seeing those guys looking in the backfield, and uh, they didn't get no depth. The safety had a guy behind him and a guy in front of him, and he had to midpoint him, and uh, just a uh, terrible job on Cherokee County secondary. Well, it would have been a first down if it wasn't for an ineligible receiver for the Tigers of Cleburne County because they're backed up inside their own one is essentially a glorified redo. So we'll have a first and 10 once again. Well, you don't want to make that mistake again. Now they got, got an opportunity. So Cherokee County don't want to make that same mistake again. Now certainly if you make a penalty and that's committed in the end zone, that's two points for the other team. So certainly discipline comes into play here. As McGrin will roll far side and he'll keep it himself and turns the corner and looks like he may have gotten that first down that time as he crossed the 10 yard line. And we'll see where he spot that football, but good recognition by McGrin that time. Turns the corner and good uh, replay action there from our folks behind the scenes as that will be spotted as a first down carry of 11 yards. Well, and they just gave up outside containment. You don't want to give up containment when you got them pinned on there half inch yard line, you know, you want to make sure you keep them where they are. McGrin under pressure and now he throws and that is intercepted, intercepted for Cherokee County as the first turnover of the ball game belongs to Hayden Wheeler, the outside linebacker. Well, and again, he threw back in the coverage. Uh, he got good, good pressure from the uh, defensive line. Now they slanted to the right. He got pressure right there, probably should have been sacked but the linebackers got back in the hook zone. And if you look right here, they got in this area right here, they got three guys there. Are you ready for some they got three guys there and uh, he just threw in the traffic. Just a, just a bad read on the quarterback part. Right now, Cherokee yes. County playing this field position game to a T. As Mejia's punt to the one, certainly paying off now off the turnover. Gresham taking the snap and he will get wrapped up in the backfield as that defensive line for Cleburne County got some penetration as you had D Pro Throw who's leading the team in sacks and tackles for loss on the stop. It looked like they're making bad reads to me though. I don't want to criticize the coach, but you know, uh, Cherokee County is missing opportunities. You'd have had an opportunity to score on the fourth and you got held out, you got a touchdown call back for holding and uh, you got an interception and you're in the red zone again. Uh, you know, they can't miss too many of these opportunities because it's going to catch up with them. Here's the snap for Pittman and the keeper as he'll get leveled up the middle inside the 10 yard line to about the six yard line. So it'll be a third down coming up. So we saw in the first quarter on I believe it was their second drive coach, Cherokee County drive to inside the five and on fourth and one gets stopped just shy of the first down. So this is another opportunity for Cleburne County to pin their ears back and try and get another big defensive stop. Pittman, the Wildcat quarterback in the shotgun, as he'll try and take it off the left side. He'll lower his head and gets inside the five as he'll get toward about the three yard line. So it's a goal to go situation, fourth and goal, as they'll spot the football officially at the four yard line. They look like they misread their blocks there. So fourth down situation, certainly you would think more than makeable for Daniel Mejia. As Coach Jacob Kelly mentioned to me, a very solid place kicker with a strong leg, but just a little bit inconsistent as far as his accuracy goes. So 
already a PAT successful in the first quarter for Daniel Mejia as they'll spot the football about the 11, so about a 21-yard field goal. And looks as if, yes, there is a flag of the play because the play clock ran down to zero. So it appears that the delay of game will mark the football back five yards. As referee Buckaloo will, t will tell us that it is the delay of game. To mark it back five, and instead of a 21-yard chip shot field goal, we'll make it about a 26-yard or so field goal attempt coming up. Seven to nothing. Cherokee County with the advantage as the 2021 season at the FNN Game of the Week, sponsored by Young Oil Grub Mart, home of the 99-cent bag of ice and everybody's favorite, the popcorn bucket. Buy yours and get free popcorn refills for an entire year. So they'll spot the football back. Appears they actually didn't move the football back, even though the play clock did go down to zero, but they'll kick the football anyway as they'll spot it. At least the holder will from around the 11. So a 21-yard kick for Daniel Mejia. Low snap and a good hold, and the kick up, and it is good. So field goal good for 21 yards out. Makes it 10-0 Cherokee County lead on the FNN High School Football Game of the Week. In Alabama, school spirit is in the air on Friday nights. At Farmers and Merchants Bank, we're giving our customers the opportunity to show their school spirit every day with our new Spirit Debit Card. We've designed a unique card for every Calhoun County school that includes the school's logo. So every time you use the card, you're showing your school spirit. Come in and get your school spirit debit card today. We've got spirit at FM Bank. Service, solutions, and strength. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Second quarter on senior night from Cherokee County High School, Warrior Stadium here in Center, Alabama. As Cherokee County had settled for a 21-yard field goal from Daniel Mejia. As we'll have kickoff coming up as Mejia, the senior place kicker, one of those seniors honored in pregame festivities as part of senior night. Kick is away. Going toward about the seven yard line where it's bobbled around by Cantrell as he gets across the 15 and the 20 yard line. And good to see Cantrell coach back in this ball game after going out of the game earlier this quarter with an injury. Absolutely, you don't ever want to see anybody hurt, you know, and uh, like I said, I, I've been saying the last couple of years, I have a lot of respect and uh, you know, for those players when they do get injured and they can come back because, you know, when I was coaching, I really, really didn't realize it, you know, but. McGrin rolling to the near side off the snap, has the receiver open and gets it to him complete across the 30. And getting the first down was the wide receiver on the play, J.J. Cosby, as he was all alone on that crossing route for the first down. Well, it's a fluid route right there. He went on the inside, and if you look, he, he came on the outside, uh, ran a route almost like he was running a, a slant route, but he uh, he hooked and came back from the outside. Big room for Cantrell as he's off to the races, 30. One man to be 20. 15, 10, 5, give him 6. Touchdown, Cleburne County. He just got on the second level right there. They had no safety in the middle of the field, and they had uh, linebackers got out of position, and uh, can't let a person with that kind of speed get one-on-one. -on -one. You know, the safety was cheating to the uh, wide side of the field, and uh, just can't do that. 67 yards on the touchdown run for Devontae Cantrell, who last week, Coach, had 240 rushing yards against a solid Jacksonville squad as Cleburne County lost 35-28 to last week. Well, he just showed tremendous speed right there, so uh, I was impressed. 
PAT upcoming. That's the score now at 10 to 6. There's the PAT on the way from Noah Morgan. As this is the first time we've seen him tonight. So Cleburne County, by the way, after the touchdown, getting an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty that will be assessed on the kickoff. So the PAT coming up for the straight on kicker, Morgan. Snap and holder there and the kick on the way, and it is good. So we'll take the timeout. 4.36 left until halftime. It is now 10-7, Cherokee County leading on the FNN Game of the Week. So a quick drive for Cleburne County, two plays, 99 yards, capped off by that 67-yard touchdown scamper. Actually a dart more like for their star running back for the Tigers in Devontae Cantrell. Right, he got on that second level pretty quick, and that's, uh, that's very impressive right there. i tell you what, Coach, with – how much that Cherokee County has dominated field position in this game. Cleburne County has to like the position they're in right now. Oh, no doubt. I mean, uh, Cherokee County has missed three opportunities. Well, two opportunities. I'm sorry to score. And, uh, Short know, kick got... goes to Amos as he'll try and turn it to the near side corner 50. And we'll get wrapped up into Cleburne County territory at the 49-yard line as you had the – Deep kicker that time, Colton McElroy, stepping up on special teams to make the stop. But after a pretty solid return of that short kick for Amos, as it'll be a first down and 10 from the Cleburne County 49-yard line. Or no, check that. They'll spot it just a yard back at midfield. So receivers to each side. This will be Gresham lining up as kind of a Wildcat quarterback as he'll keep it himself off the right side and gets some good yardage. In fact, gets a little bit close to that I care Alabama first down, but a couple of yards shy of that. But an eight-yard gain nonetheless, a good solid run on first down. I think Gresham likes that Wildcat because every time he gets in it, he has uh, great runs. I'll tell you, Coach, that's been the most successful play we've seen offensively from Cherokee County tonight. In fact, it's been one of the only things I think we've seen consistently be successful on that offensive side of the ball. You have Pittman as well as Diamond, the running backs, but Pittman will get the call up the middle and crashes forward for his I Care Alabama first down inside the 40 to the 38 yard line on the gain of about five yards. And there you see the number on your screen with locations in Piedmont, Heflin, Roanoke, and Atala. I Care Alabama presenting all of our first downs tonight in our FNN game of the week. Looks as if that the officials are in the middle of the field discussing maybe another penalty play. Referee Buckaloo says it is a unsportsmanlike conduct on the Warriors of Cherokee County. Not sure if there was maybe a little extracurricular activity after the whistle, but that's the second time, I think, Coach, that we've seen an unsportsmanlike conduct on both teams. Right, and it, it, uh, those unsportsmanlike can uh, flip the uh, field position, and then you don't want that to happen. You know, it's, it's, there's no play for first and 30. <laughs> there you see C.J. Gresham, one of the big play athletes. That we've seen wide receivers, seen plenty of that Wildcat quarterback spot tonight, and has so far Cherokee County's only touchdown on their opening drive of the game. So they'll mark the football back across midfield after the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. 
So the I care Alabama first down play stands, but mark it back 15 after the play. I think that's a mix-up, though. I mean, if, if they had first down, the regular change shouldn't have moved. Only the down marker should have moved, and they, they moved the chains back. And we, we've seen a little bit of confusion on some of the spots and officiating calls from the officials tonight. Not saying that they're necessarily doing a bad job, but we have seen it it'll happen every once in a while, so give them a little slack on that. But it's not the first time that we've seen a little mix-up from our zebras tonight. Absolutely, but I can tell you the coach is probably going, you know, you, you, you don't want to get caught up into that because this is a pivotal game for both teams and you want to make sure you get, get it right, yeah. One thing it can mess up, however, when you're looking at it from both coaches' perspective is the overall flow of the game, especially if you have momentum. Absolutely, you can hear the home crowd right now booing. So, you know, First and a, 10 from their own 46, this will be the – give that time check that it'll be Gresham getting taken down in the backfield in an excellent open field tackle by Higgins the senior defensive back on the tackle for loss right excellent play I mean he squared him up he squared him up right here one-on-one -on -one, and he uh made the play I'll tell you what that was an excellent open field tackle the shifty runner by Higgins or else Gresham might still be running that's textbook that's how you do it I'll tell you what, it looks like we're seeing a well-coached defense uh, for Cleburne County tonight that's certainly keeping Cherokee County down on the scoreboard. Snap and a sack. Second consecutive loss offensively for Cleburne County as the sack for Cleburne goes to Matthew Brown. Well, you got to read that. I guarantee you got a linebacker blitz, but the blitz was if the back stay in for the linebacker to come and he – Oh, he came like they shot him out of rocket, man. That's textbook. I tell you what, Coach, we've seen both Brown and Higgins the last two plays come in for TFLs for a sack or a regular TFL untouched. And the back didn't pick him up. The uh, back probably should have picked him up on the blitz read right there. So, oh, then they come back and get themselves an encroachment. So we'll have a offside on Cleburne County. Now the line to reach for the first down is still all the way across midfield. In fact, across the 45 to the 44 of Cleburne County. So instead of a third and 23, it'll be a third and 18 from the 38 their own for Cherokee County. Well, we're aggressive now. We've seen a 67 yard run, so. This will be off the right side and a good run that time for Tay Diamond as he'll get much of that 18 yards that he needs, about 16 of those set up a fourth and short. Less than two minutes to go until halftime as it's a close ball game, hard fought by both teams with Cleburne County hanging in there, especially with the field position deficit for much of this first half. It'll be a fourth and two, line to reach the 44 for the first down is Gresham. Well, hand off to his running back, Diamond, for the first down inside the 40 to about the 37 of Cleburne County as you had the linebacker and Jake Dingler helping out on the stop. Well, they didn't have to use the timeout. They got one left, but uh, the clock will stop till you get the chain set. Oh, they don't start the chain, so I'm surprised the coach is not. Now, they do have the benefit of having Daniel Mejia that has a strong place-kicking leg as Pittman gets the call off the left side as he'll break a tackle, gets the eye care Alabama first down across the 20 and taken out of bounds in the red zone around the 15 yard line. But once again, the second consecutive eye care Alabama first down. Well, he got Pittman that time on the carry and we'll call that about 25 yards, but it appears that both teams are coming back for what appears to be a yellow hinky on the play. Well, I was looking for the flag. I was trying to see what possibly happened on that play. If they had uh, a false start, well, I had holding. I'll tell you what, Mr. Buckaloo certainly is, and his crew is certainly keeping us on our toes up here in the booth tonight with some of the flags, whether we see them or whether they're just discreetly thrown. But the penalty flag comes back across 
close to midfield. So it'll be at the Cleburne County 49-yard line. Play clock down to 13 seconds. Watch his own read to the wide side with Gresham. So Gresham will hand off to his running back in Tay Diamond as he'll barrel forward across the 30 and gets the Eye Care Alabama first down at the Cleburne County 25 for a game of 24. Going to get a timeout right there. Uh, now, you would think right now, Coach, that Cherokee County is in the field, the kicking range as far as Daniel Mejia, the place kicker, is concerned. But right now, the Warriors looking for a few more yards as Gresham will keep himself, dances up the middle, reverses course near side, 15, 10, 5, and into the end zone. Or they'll spot that just shy of the end zone, just shy of the pylon around the half yard line. Well, you don't want to take too much time. You want to get them up and just run it straight ahead. Or I think they said the official, the side judge at the near side, must have marked him out of bounds right yeah, at. He got out of bounds. That's an excellent move by Gresham right there. Uh, getting out of bounds, you know, because you only have one timeout. So with that one timeout, you can take a chance to on running it and then maybe a chance on throwing it. But, you know, with 18 seconds left, you know, I normally say you got. I tell you what, excellent camera work that time from our fellas behind the scenes. As you see Gresham's left right. foot that time right, right along the yeah. white chalk. It looked like he got out of bounds right there, yeah. Pinpoint camera work that time and good calls by the official right on the play making that spot at the one yard line. Big opportunity coach for Cherokee County if they can punch this across to not only gain themselves a two, a two score lead but also all Mo going into the halftime locker room. Well, that's what you wanna do. I mean, that's the name of the game. You know, it's about the momentum. I tell you what, right now, Cherokee County and Jacob Kelly also has to be wondering in their heads where their offense would be tonight without C.J. Gresham. As it's almost been all Gresham as far as the offensive production. Well, and you know, something like this, you probably want to do a student body. Normally, the quarterback is the extra guy. You know, you want a quarterback Quar sneak. Quarterback sneak and in, into the end zone, but a flag behind the play. So we'll see what that penalty flag is on. Well, I guarantee you it's probably a false start, you know. And indeed, they're going to mark this one back as we're at now 12.7 seconds to go until halftime. And Cleburne County at least trying to hold Cherokee County to a field goal opportunity. Well, you got an illegal shift right there. Now, what they want to do right here with a timeout. You can run it, but you got to get the time out. You can't do a whole lot of dancing, or you can take a quick shot to the end zone. And, uh, you know, just whatever you got in your playbook, I'm sure they're expecting a run. Or, or you could try to throw a real quick slant because you got a lot of space out to the left with that one receiver. You know, I'd give them a dance to the outside. And Hopper fakes, rolls to the near side, under pressure, now reversing field to the far side. He'll keep it himself. Goes toward the end zone and stops shy of the goal line with it. one, and they now get the timeout with less than one second to go until halftime. Now, he was stopped, Kate Hopper was about a yard shy of the touchdown. So it'll certainly, we'll see what they do, either settle for the three points or go for broke and go for six. So we'll have a timeout called for a timeout on the field with officially 0.5 seconds to go and we'll take the timeout with them here on the FNN High School Football Game of the Week. The Calhoun County Commission made up of J.D. Hess, Tim Hodges, Fred Wilson, Eli Henderson and Lee Patterson ask you to take a look at what Calhoun County has to offer. With our beautiful parks, neighborhoods, recreational facilities, historic sites, and museums, our citizens enjoy a high quality of life and strongly support the arts. If you are considering expanding or starting a new business, take a look at what Calhoun County has to offer. You'll be glad you did.
Pittman and Diamond in as the backs. This is the final play of the first half. Snap, and this will be the give up the middle to Diamond, and he is in for the touchdown. That's a big, big touchdown right there for well, Cherokee he, County to get the momentum into the locker room. Well, and that was scary because if you watch him right here, he starts dancing right in this area. And, I mean, that's just not an area to dance. You just got to punch it in. Check that Caleb Pittman on the touchdown run as Daniel Mejia will officially end the first half with his second PAT opportunity. Already has a field goal tonight in addition to his PAT in the first quarter. Snap and hold there, and the kick up, and it is good. So we're at halftime, 17-7 to in favor of Cherokee County, but Cleburne County, because they kicked off to begin the game, will have the option and more, well, we'll throw your wallet as far as receiving the opening kickoff for the second half. We begin our halftime coverage after this timeout with Cherokee County leading 17-7 to on the FNN High School Football Game of the Week. Harrison Sports and Chiropractic, located in Anniston, Alabama, is dedicated to their patients. Car accidents, injuries, pain management, or even if you're just feeling the wear and tear of everyday life, Dr. Farr and Dr. Harrison can help. Call them today at 256-231-0417 or like them on Facebook. Walk-ins are welcome, most insurance accepted. Contact them today. That's 256-231-0417. Your neighborhood Grub Mart is your one-stop shop for everything you need when you're on the go. Grub Mart features the best prices on Coke and Pepsi products and is the home to the 99-cent bag of ice every day. And Grub Mart is your exclusive home for the popcorn bucket. Purchase yours for only $5.99, then bring it for free refills throughout the year. And save every day with your Grub Mart Super Saver card. When you're on the go, it's good to know Grub Mart has everything you need. Gas, diesel, and delicious Oleo donuts. In business over 78 years, visit your local Grub Mart today. In Alabama, school spirit is in the air on Friday nights. At Farmers and Merchants Bank, we're giving our customers the opportunity to show their school spirit every day with our new Spirit Debit Card. We've designed a unique card for every Calhoun County school that includes the school's logo. So every time you use the card, you're showing your school spirit. Come in and get your school spirit debit card today. We've got spirit at FM Bank. Service, solutions, and strength. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Halftime from Center, Alabama, as our score stands at Cherokee County 17 and Cleburne County 7. James Hardy with you, along with the coach Eddie Bullock, as our halftime coverage presented to you by the Calhoun County Commission. Take a look at what Calhoun County has to offer. We'll see both the Cleburne County and Cherokee County marching bands perform for us at halftime. And so we will send it down to the field for what appears to be the Cleburne County marching band. And now, from the main event, is your Tiger Man ready? You may now take a beat.
it one more time for the Cleveland County Marching Tiger Band. You finally found the perfect car in racing blue. You even got them to throw in the LED fog lights for free. Auto Owners insures your car because some people never learn to parallel park. That's simple human sense. Ask Alliance Insurance in Heflin if Auto Owners make sense for you. Keep going, more. No, no! Did you know Kona Ice can help you fundraise for your school? It's true. It's quick, it's easy, and the kids absolutely love having Kona Ice. We'll let you in on a little secret. Teachers love it too. So, how can we help you fundraise this year? It's quick, it's easy, the kids love it, and teachers love it too. The Calhoun County Commission, made up of J.D. Hess, Tim Hodges, Fred Wilson, Eli Henderson, and Lee Patterson, ask you to take a look at what Calhoun County has to offer. With our beautiful parks, neighborhoods, recreational facilities, historic sites, and museums, our citizens enjoy a high quality of life and strongly support the arts. If you are considering expanding or starting a new business, take a look at what Calhoun County has to offer. You'll be glad you did. Cofield Asphalt Refinishing is Northeast Alabama's go-to source for exterior parking lot maintenance. We provide a broad range of products and services in the asphalt seal coating and striping industry. Whether it's for a commercial or industrial customer or helping serve other contractors like ourselves, we're here to serve our community with over 25 years experience. Get a free estimate. Call us at 256-454-5336 or contact Cofield Asphalt Refinishing. Halftime coverage presented to you by the Calhoun County Commission. Take a look at what Calhoun County has to offer. We've already seen the halftime performance from the Cleburne County High School Marching Band and now the Cherokee County Marching Band here at halftime as Cherokee County leads Cleburne County 17 to seven.
Let's give it up for our marching warriors. Give it up for our marching warriors. At halftime, your score is 17 to 7 in favor of Cherokee County as the Cherokee County Marching Band makes their way off the field and will take this time out and begin the third quarter after this. Your neighborhood Grub Mart is your one-stop shop for everything you need when you're on the go. Grub Mart features the best prices on Coke and Pepsi products and is the home to the 99-cent bag of ice every day. And Grub Mart is your exclusive home for the popcorn bucket. Purchase yours for only $5.99, then bring it for free refills throughout the year and save every day with your Grub Mart Super Saver card. When you're on the go, it's good to know Grub Mart has everything you need. Gas, diesel, and delicious Oleo donuts. In business over 78 years, visit your local Grub Mart today. In Alabama, school spirit is in the air on Friday nights. At Farmers and Merchants Bank, we're giving our customers the opportunity to show their school spirit every day with our new Spirit Debit Card. We've designed a unique card for every Calhoun County school that includes the school's logo. So every time you use the card, you're showing your school spirit. Come in and get your school spirit debit card today. We've got spirit at f and Bank. Service, solutions, and strength. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Harrison Sports and Chiropractic, located in Anniston, Alabama, is dedicated to their patients. Car accidents, injuries, pain management, or even if you're just feeling the wear and tear of everyday life, Dr. Farr and Dr. Harrison can help. Call them today at 256-231-0417 or like them on Facebook. Walk-ins are welcome, most insurance accepted. Contact them today. That's 256-231-0417. Serving Calhoun County for over 30 years, Crawford Office Supply offers selection, convenience, and low prices. Choose from a wide variety of office furnishings featured in their huge showroom. With savings of 50 to 70% off scratch and dent items, you'll find it all from pens and paper to janitorial supplies at Crawford Office Supply, including on-site printing, all backed up by unmatched personal service and free delivery to local business. Crawford Office Supply, 301 South Layton Avenue in Anniston. Remember, buy local, it matters. Second half right around the corner here in Center, Alabama from Warrior Field on the campus of Cherokee County High School. James Hardy and the coach, Eddie Bullock, with you as our third quarter coming up, presented to you by Fields Land Management at 1755 County Road 6 in Heflin, specializing in land management services to include forestry and tree mulching, underbrush clearing, fence and property line maintenance, and path clearing. See their, see their work on Facebook or give them a call at 256-926-2568 for your next job quote. A little bit of homework to take care of there, folks, as far as uh, the Cherokee County offense is concerned. The last touchdown right at the end of halftime, by the way, scored by their star Damian Ramsey. Normally wears number one, but he is actually honoring uh, a fallen former teammate of theirs in Nathan Pittman that died as a sophomore two years ago in an auto accident. And without that auto accident, young Nathan Pittman would have been uh, a part of senior night festivities tonight here at Cherokee County. So, so there you see right at the bottom of your screen, number 88 for tonight now. At least the roster that we got uh, late in this week, just about 24 hours ago or so, had that Nathan Pittman in all caps on the roster, but that is the spirit of Nathan Pittman for tonight being represented 
by Damian Ramsey. Cleburne County kicked off as it'll be now Cherokee County kicking off in Cleburne County to receive the opening kickoff. We'll take it from the 10-yard line as it'll be the star running back returning in Cantrell as he gets met very quickly deep in his own territory. And so this is a big drive coming up, Coach, for Cleburne County to start the third quarter. Absolutely. And uh, that's a great gesture by Mr. Ram today. Uh, you know, honoring his teammate and, uh, you know, a little extra motivation for him, you know, to play well as, you know, as well. First down and 10 as he'll spot the football from their own 15-yard line as this will be the rollout to the far side and the throw is caught by Clay. That's his first catch of the night. Goes for about eight yards. Solid first down play that time. Absolutely. Just a sprint out. Uh, he ran about eight, eight yards and out, you know. Could have been a five and out, and he just got a little bit deeper, but a little out right on the roll out. I'll tell you, Coach, we've seen that a lot as the quick give up the middle will give the first I care Alabama first down of the third quarter for Cleburne County as Cantrell gets the call and moves the sticks. Well, what you want to do now, you want to make sure you keep your eye on Cantrell because, like I said, he uh, – you know, once he gets to the second level, he can break it at any time. We've already seen a 67-yard touchdown run from him tonight as the quick rollout and a nice open field tackle that time for Cherokee County as the linebacker Walker Pruitt coming up on the tackle that time of Gross who made the catch. Well, they're running fluid routes on him right now. That's what worked in the first half. They're running uh, outside, got uh, deep out and running a mid slot guy on a uh, medium out and then the, the third guy's coming underneath him. Keeper up the middle for McGrin as he'll break out of a tackle and gets his I care Alabama first down close to the 40 yard line around the 38 yard line for the second I care Alabama first down with locations in Piedmont, Heflin, Roanoke and Atala providing efficient, effective I care close to home. First down and 10, roll out far side for McGrin as he's looking for a receiver and now throws and incomplete. Looked like it was deflected by maybe Horton, the cornerback, incomplete. They ran out of curl and a, uh, out. So they, they flood in the zone over there with three receivers and letting them pick one on the sprint out. So already two I care Alabama first downs on this drive that started at the 15 yard line for Cleburne County. As they need this win to certainly maintain a rock-solid positioning as far as the playoffs go. Snap and the quick throw over the middle. That is complete at the 45 and across the 50 is Gross on the receiving end and gets another I Care Alabama first down. Again, and if you watch again, they got they got three receivers right here and they flooding the zone on them. So the first down moves it across the 50 to the Cherokee County 48-yard line as McGrin keeps himself off the left side, gets out of one tackle, and moves his way inside the 45 to the 42-yard line for a gain of six yards. They'll hurry it up, and looks like going no huddle will be the Cleburne County Tigers as they're down 10, but they're, they've certainly been scrappy so far tonight, and if they can get a touchdown would cut this deficit down to one possession. Shotgun on a second down and four as the snap and the give will go to Cantrell. So he'll move the pile forward and close to an eye care Alabama first down, but maybe about a half yard shy of that first down. Got a flag, though. I think it's coming back. Indeed, a flag on the play as that will come back on a holding penalty. So it would have been about a third and short coming up, but instead will be a 10-yard holding penalty to put it's Cleburne County behind the sticks. But so far, Cleburne County's been able with the short rolls, uh, the kind of misdirection runs up the middle to be able to move the ball so far. So certainly, uh, Cleburne County, despite the penalty, still getting things going offensively. Absolutely. They're moving the football. And it uh, seems like the trips formation is giving Cherokee County uh, some problems. Uh, you know, they flood the zone and do a sprint out, and then they'll – spread them out and they run a quarterback draw, which leads the linebacker in that one. I'm going to get blocked, and the quarterback got to make the other one miss. Football just over midfield. So second and 12 is under pressure and throwing it away, but it appears that there's going to be 
a flag or maybe no flag rather as McGrin got rid of the football, but I think that was a little grounding that time, Coach. May have been grounding right there. I, I don't think he may have gotten rid of it soon enough. If you watch him, they got a cat corner right there. Now, yeah. I guess that they said Cantrell was close enough in the area, but look, the officials, it's a tough job, but I could very well have seen a justified grounding that time if a flag was thrown. Yeah, absolutely. So third down, third down and 12. Line to reach at the first down will be the Cherokee County 38. McGrin sees a man coming in motion in gross as the snap to McGrin setting up a screen, and that will be picked off. This could go all the way, 20, 10, and it's Ramsey taken down inside the 10-yard line as McGrin makes the touchdown saving tackle. Well, Ramsey read that all the way. When he seen it, he found the back, and he ran straight to him. If you, They're if setting up the screen and Ramsey reads that yeah, like a right Rams are read it all the way. I'll tell you what, this was an impressive open field tackle for Kyler McGrin to save a touchdown right now. That's a big sequence for Cherokee County to get that turnover and now on the doorstep of making this a three score game. There you see Ramsey in the backfield as the snap to Gresham and the give will go to Dante Diamond as he'll get a solid carry on a first and goal situation as he'll move the football to about the five yard line. Second down in goal as we are under nine minutes to go here in the third quarter. Our third quarter presented to you this evening by our folks at Fields Land Management. Second and goal. Football at the five-yard line. The Gresham keeping it and now going up the middle as he'll get stopped for modest yardage inside the five to about the four-yard line and a third down in goal. And this would be a big stop if Cleburne County's defense can hold in this situation. Well, I think what you want to do, uh, Cleveland County's putting one outside linebacker on the outside, and I think you block down and you uh, – student by the right or left, but you either kick that guy out or you, you block him down. But, you know, you got the edge. You got the numbers on him. Gresham, the Wildcat quarterback, is Mitchell in the backfield as the call up the middle goes to Diamond as he works his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Cherokee County. So Tay Diamond getting the call this time on a four-yard touchdown run to make it 23-7. See, he's running a little bit high, too, right there. That could have easily been stopped. You know, you got to lower your pass and what we call get behind your pass, you know. Daniel Mejia comes out to kick the extra point as Diamond scores his first TD of the night. Kick is up, and the kick is good. So we'll take the timeout with 7.58 left in the third quarter, 24-7. Cherokee County with the advantage of the FNN High School Football Game of the Week. Hi, I'm Dave Mack for Advantage Tire on Highway 202 in Anniston. Most of you know about the new and used tires and rims we sell, but I bet there's a lot of things we do that you don't know about. We have a full lineup of ASE certified mechanics that are ready to take care of just about everything you can imagine, like this. He's working on a brake job right here. At Advantage Tire, we've got the latest diagnostic tools. These are all digital. This is wireless. Most people have a wired. We got wireless. But on top of that, when it comes to diagnostics, we still handle your alignment with the latest technology available. And don't forget, we do shocks and struts too. So the next time this happens to you, you know where to go. Advantage Tire, Highway 202, Anniston. Twenty-four to seven, Cherokee County with the advantage, looking to punch their ticket to the Class 4A playoffs in three weeks. James Hardy and the coach Eddie Bullock with you here from the campus of Cherokee County High School in Center, Alabama. Mejia to kick off. As he'll boom it away deep. As it'll be Cantrell fielding the loose ball inside his five-yard line in some trouble and gets out of the 10. 
and gets a nice return out of that scramble situation as he'll move the ball across the 20 to about the 22 yard line. Our third quarter presented to you as you see on the bottom right hand side of your screen by Fields Land Management on County Road 6, 1755 County Road 6 in Heflin specializing in land management services to include forestry and tree mulching, underbrush clearing, fence property line maintenance, and path, and path clearing. First and 10 for the Tigers of Cleburne County as we're just under eight minutes to go here in the third quarter. A ball at their own 21 as McGrin will keep it up the middle and gets close to the 25 yard line for about three, maybe three and a half yards that time on the play. So we saw in that first drive of the second half, Cleburne County be able to move the football, but a costly mistake for the quarterback McGrin on that screen pass cost them seven in the end. Absolutely. Uh, Ramsey, he picked that out on the screen. You know, he... Uh... Here's McGrin under pressure as he'll throw into traffic, and that is incomplete out of bounds. As you had that pressure come from the backside of the defensive line coach that forced Aaron throw. So good coverage also on that back end incomplete as it'll set up a third down and long, third and seven with the line to reach the 31 for the first down. Now, Cleburne County, they certainly need this game tonight as far as keeping their playoff hopes alive as we'll have a whistle and a timeout called for, a timeout on the field by Cleburne County. Their first of the first half will take the timeout with them. Cherokee County up by 17 on the FNN Game of the Week. The tire, arguably the most important part of a car. Without it, we could not stop. We could not go. We couldn't drive at all. They come in all sizes, brands, treads, prices, and ratings. How do you know which is the right tire for you? Thankfully, there's Cobb Automotive, and they have been answering this question since 1981. With a large selection of brands and sizes in stock, you are sure to get the right tire for the right price. Cobb Automotive, located on Highway 21 across from Walmart in Oxford, and 2001 Quintard Avenue in Anniston. From Center, Alabama, Cherokee County with the 17-point lead, 24-7 over Cleburne County as the Cleburne County has a third down and seven yards to go awaiting them after the timeout. Receiver coming in motion to the near side as McGrin rolls to the near side. Under pressure, now trying to reverse field, goes up the middle and close to his I Care Alabama first down as Coming in on the tackle was Hayden Wheeler, the outside linebacker for Cherokee County. And depending on that spot, they may or may not get that first down. It appears we're going to have a measurement coming up. Now, I think with a 17-point disadvantage, Coach, and what could be on the line for Cleburne County, if they're short of this first down, you may see them go for it. Because right now, when you look at the standings coming into tonight in Class 4A Region 4, top-ranked Handley at 4-0 in region play, and then a two-way tie for Cherokee County and Anniston at 3-1 each, with Cherokee County getting that 21-20 victory over Anniston early in the season. They'll say more good camera work right there for our camera guys behind the scene as that is just about, oh, a baby step shy of that first down. So it'll be a fourth and a few inches to go for that I Care Alabama first down for Cleburne County. Looking at the rest of the region standings coming into this week, Jacksonville at 3-2 and two in region play. They are off tonight. Cleburne County at 2-2 two and two in region play. And then White Plains and Munford 0-4 and 0-5 and and in region play and out of playoff contention respectively. Fourth and a handful of inches as Kyler McGrin awaiting the snap. As the line, basically all, every player along the line of scrimmage defensively for Cherokee County. 
10 on the play clock, snap to McGrin, and he will rush it off of right guard and gets his I Care Alabama first down and keeps those legs churning across the 35 to the 37 yard line to keep that drive going. So we are un approaching rather six and a half minutes to go in the third quarter as Cherokee County took a Damian Ramsey interception inside the 10 yard line off of Cleburne County's first offensive drive of the second half and punched it in thanks to the four yard touchdown run by Tay Diamond. Here's the keeper for McGrin as he'll find some running room up the middle and gets yet another I Care Alabama first down to right at midfield. Well, they gashing them up the middle right now. It's just a uh, low uh, quarterback just keeping it. Uh, they in the wildcat, and he's just keeping it right up the middle right there. So that's a gain of about 14 yards from the play. That's it. You can make safeties make tackles in cover three. You're doing a good job because they, they're not designed to make tackles out of cover three. There is a flag on the play. There's a flag, looks like right in the middle of the field, and we'll find out from Mr. Buckaloo, our head referee. The call it is a dead ball, a personal foul on Cherokee County. So add 15 yards on the 14 yard run by Kyler McGrin. Now, McGrin coming in to today, 620 yards rushing along with 10 rushing touchdowns on the season for Cleburne County as the Tigers will go into Cherokee County territory and set up shop at the Warriors 35 yard line. And in week zero of the season, one Kyler McGrin took home an FNN player of the week honor. Here's the give up the middle and good surge by that offensive line as Cantrell rides that surge for yet another I Care Alabama first down, closing in on the Cherokee County red zone. Ball at the 23-yard line as Cantrell will get the call and will move his way to about the 20-yard line as Cleburne County now in the red zone. Just an inside zone right there. They got the center blocking back, and they got they pulling the guard around the center, and he leading up on the linebacker. So it'll be a second down and about seven yards to go. A 17-point game. The advantage for Cherokee County as they have led from wire to wire. Shotgun with 15 on the play clock as Cantrell will get the call off the right side and gets met right around the line of scrimmage, but Cantrell... We'll move the pile forward for about a yard as you had three different tacklers as Jack Amos, the strong safety, was able to help out on the tackle for Cherokee County. Another big third down coming up. We'll say maybe a half yard, so we'll say third and seven on the play. Line to reach for the first down is just inside the 14. Cantrell awaiting the snap. But this is definitely fourth down territory. He'll keep it off the right side, and he gets driven back right at the line of scrimmage, as you see right there, one of the defensive linemen, number 62 that time, will get a second look at it, as you had young Mr. <laughs> that was a good play, though, that time from Jay Watts making the tackle. He got good penetration. That play was blown up from the start right there. So now would be a good time for a little play action right here and give yourself an opportunity, you know, RPO, give yourself an opportunity to run it or pass it, you know. No gain on the play. is fourth down and seventh throw down the sideline, and that is caught for the first down. An I Care Alabama first down by Clay to keep the drive alive. It's a great throw and catch. Uh, cornerback just gave up. Gresham gave too much of a cushion right there. He came up and made the play, but that's just uh, on a situation like that, you want to play press coverage, you know. Here's the run up the middle. That'll get minimal yard yardage after a 15-yard pass completion, by the way, from McGrin to Clay. So second down and a goal to go with four minutes left here in the third quarter. Must score scenario for Cleburne County as they are down three scores, but they're just five yards away from getting their second touchdown of the game on the board. 
There you see on the bottom right hand corner of your screen, our third quarter sponsor, Fields Land Management. Rolling out is McGrin, looking for help as he's being chased down and throws across his body and no, dropping the football that time was gross as he had it in his hands but dropped it at the last second. Well, he actually got it ripped out, man. Uh, defensive back did a great job. Yeah, you're told, Coach, never to throw across your body, but McGrin almost coming through that time on what was if actually. If you look right here, you'll see him. He get he catches the football, and then the cornerback goes through and rip his arm right there. So that was Jack Amos making an outstanding defensive play. Now, if it wasn't for Amos, that would have been six. Third and goal, snap, and the keeper for McGrin is he'll fight his way toward the goal line, and they're going to spot him about the one-yard line. That was some determined running by Kyler McGrin on the quarterback keeper to give them a realistic shot on fourth in goal of getting a score. Absolutely. Now, right here, uh, this defensive line stand, if, if they're going for the field, goal, which they're down by 17, I would take the three points, and then y'all are down two, but you need to get points out of it. Now for but the worst thing you can do is not get any points. For Cleburne County, it'll be Noah Morgan coming out for what would basically be a normal PAT. So a 20 yard field goal from right in the middle of the field. Snap and holder there and the kick on the way. It is up and it is good. So the field goal is good from 20 yards from Noah Morgan to make it a 24 to 10 lead for Cherokee County here on the FNN High School Football. Game of the week. Short 20-yard field goal for Noah Morgan. Puts three on the board for Cleburne County as they trail now by 14 points to Cherokee County as Cherokee County, with a win, would punch their ticket to the Class 4A playoffs. Kickoff for Cleburne County, another little squibber as we'll have a loose ball, and let's see who has it. Cleburne County saying they have it, and let's see if... Yes, now the officials appear that they will give the football to Cleburne County. A second look at that one, Coach. We saw this right at the very beginning of the game and a similar result. Well, you can't let it bounce like that because you don't know what direction it's going in. And, you know, I teach my guys, you can catch it early. The, the kicking team just can't touch it early. So you can run up and catch it, and he tried to let it take a second bounce, and he just, you know, he hurt himself. That's just a terrible turnover right there. Colton McElroy with that almost like sand shot out of the greenside bunker coming through for the Tigers. Keeper for McGrin as he will get some yardage off right guard to around the 40-yard line. That'll be a solid five-yard gain on first down. As we're under two and a half minutes to go, in the third quarter and hurry up no huddle for Cleburne County. And we'll have a quick stoppage in play and a timeout called for by the officials on the field. So an officials timeout. As our game, our season for the 2021 season of the FNN Game of the Week presented by Cofield Asphalt Refinishing. Your asphalt services specialists, including crack sealing, seal coating, markings, and signage, pressure washing, and reclamation. Second down and five as McGrin gets stood up right around the line of scrimmage for no gain as that'll set up a third down and five yards to go as you had Dalton Chestnut helping out on the tackle along that defensive line. 
Less than two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Opportunity for an eye care Alabama first down for Cleburne County. As McGrin having plenty of time on that play clock will adjust the signals. Calls for another play, gets the snap. Will throw the swing pass to Cantrell complete. He'll sidestep a defender, gets the eye care Alabama first down. 20, 15, 10, five with a flag on the play. A touchdown as it stands now, but I'm afraid, Coach, this may be coming back on a hold. Right, uh, Cantrell, he set up that run, though, early. Uh, he had the guy, he kind of dead-legged him to the inside and got outside. Beautiful run. Now, if it's a spot foul from where the flags are thrown, the I Care Alabama first down would stand, as it is a hold on Cleburne County. But if they mark it off from the 15-yard line, it would still be more than enough for an I Care Alabama first down. So some good moves that you're seeing from Cantrell as that hold spring him into the end zone. But all is certainly not lost for Cleburne County as much of what would have been about a 40-yard touchdown run because it was a lateral will go for about a net 14 yards or so, but still more than enough for the first down. Well, and it's better now because, you know, a few years ago, that wouldn't be a spot foul. That'd be 10 yards from the previous spot, so you'd go back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, so S Cleveland County still benefited out of it. Grin throws to the end zone, and that is knocked away and intercepted. Intercepted, intercepted by Gresham as he'll take it down the far sideline and maintain his balance and now gets taken down at the 40-yard line in another big defensive play when they needed it for Cherokee County. And Gresham set him up right there. If you look right here in this area, he's beat. But Gresham let him beat him purposely because once he cuts across, he undercuts the pass and go and get the interception. You see the look as McGrin wanted to get the touchdown. See, and he undercuts it right here. He undercuts the pass and let his athleticism take over. He high points the football. Then, of course, you know, you're not going to get him to down that ball. He's going to bring it out. Grant Harcrow, the intended receiver, as Gresham gets a 40-yard return on the pick. With the snap and the give coming off of the near side, as that will be close to an I Care Alabama first down for Mitchell, one of the three running backs we've seen tonight, LaMichael Mitchell, the sophomore wearing number seven as he gets about a solid eight yards on the play. When you receive a Mr. Block, then if he get a down block right there, he may take that to the house. Four-man front as the snap and the give goes to Ramsey as he'll break out of a tackle and gets his I Care Alabama first down across midfield to the Cleburne County 46-yard line as we are at 37.4 seconds officially to go on our stadium clock. So they'll stop the clock momentarily to move those sticks as we should be coming close to the final play of the third quarter. Well, they're going to have to run a play because they got on the, under the 40 seconds. So you see them run one more play before our fourth quarter. Gresham will keep it up the middle as a flag flies in from the umpire's position for what you would think is a holding call. Gain of about a yard and a half, maybe two yards, but that's coming back on the hold. You saw that right when Gresham was getting right in the teeth of that pile, the offensive and the defensive line, that flag come out. We've seen a lot of flags so far on both teams, and Cleburne County has been the recipient, I think, of more of those penalties tonight than Cherokee County has. Well, anytime you see that umpire throw that flag that quick, it's generally a hold and uh, illegal hands to the face. Even somebody like me could tell that one. Absolutely. That, that was coming right on back from where that was thrown. Under 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. It appears that Cherokee County will just let the third quarter come to an end. Right. I would let it run out and get you guys to the side and get you some good design, you know, to start the fourth quarter. Off. Our third quarter presented by Fields Land Management as we go to the fourth quarter. Cherokee County leading 24 to 10 on the FNN High School Football Game of the Week.
We finally found the perfect car in racing blue. You even got them to throw in the LED fog lights for free. Auto Owners insures your car because some people never learn to parallel park. That's simple human sense. Ask Alliance Insurance in Heflin if auto owners make sense for you. Keep going, more. No, no! Fourth quarter coming up here in Center, Alabama. The 2021 season, the FNN Game of the Week, sponsored by FNN Bank, home of the high school spirit card. Service, solution, strength isn't just a tagline. As we are just underway, fourth quarter, and getting the job done was that defensive line and the linebacking core for Cleburne County getting the sack of the of Hopper that time. So you had just like pro throw as well as Nate Adams coming in on the sack. And that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to come in after a timeout or change the court and, and then, you know, have a 10, 8, eight 10 yard uh, sack, you know, tackle for a loss. Throwing Hopper near side, no one home incomplete. As it appeared, Ramsey was the closest receiver on that play incomplete. This will have a third and long, third and about a quarter mile coming up. So the line to reach for the first down will be all the way at the Cleburne County 36 yard line. A lot of real estate just to get the first down for Cherokee County as we see the throwing quarterback there on your screen in Kate Hopper, the junior, as he'll play action and dumps it down complete to his running back, Mitchell, as he gets some good yardage and a late flag on the play. Well, you want to get on third and long like that, you know, 19, 20 yards. You want to look for screens or draws. That's about all you can run on that. LaMichael Mitchell that time on the reception and the flag was thrown right as the tackle was being made around midfield as Mitchell got to about the 49 yard line his own for Cherokee County. Well Mr. Buckaloo has had an active night tonight as far as telling us our penalties throughout this ball game. A lot of yellow laundry being thrown on the field at least for our games of the week, I think this is the most flags that we've seen of any games that we've done so far this season. And Pierce, it'll be another personal foul, and looks like it was a... I'm not sure if that was a targeting or not, but they called it on Cherokee County, so with a third and long, they'll accept the yardage to set up a fourth down. Will Cleburne County. Might have been helmet to helmet contact that time. We don't have a ref, Mike, to at least get the clarification from Mr. Buckaloo. But that's a fourth down situation. As you'll have Mejia to punt. Just his third time tonight. Good in over and punt that's fielded inside the five yard line. And taking it out across the 10 and just shy of the 15 yard line was Cantrell. And normally, Coach, you would tell those returners never to receive the punt inside the five-yard line, and I think that time that Cantrell maybe got a slight reprieve that time with that return. Well, you put your feet on the 10-yard line, and anything over your head, you let it go because uh, the percentages are with you. Once it hit and bounce, the chances are it's going to bounce into the end zone, and you'll get the ball back at, at the 25-yard line. And uh, that's just a mistake on his part. You know, that's just – and I'm pretty sure he's been coached up with that. That's just a mistake on his part, trying to make something happen. Snap to McGrand as he'll dump it down to Cantrell, who will get taken down in the open field on a good tackle by Hayden Wheeler that will lose about three or actually more than that back to the eight-yard line. So we'll call that a loss of five on the pass. Excellent open field tackle by the sophomore linebacker, Hayden Wheeler. And we've seen a lot of young players for Jacob Kelly's Cherokee County Warriors as the quick bubble screen pass to the far side will be complete and taking it across the 20 to around the 25-yard line is J.J. Cosby 
On that bubble screen pass that close to and I think even gets the I Care Alabama first down. In fact, indeed an I Care Alabama first down of 17 yards on the pass completion. Trips receivers to the near side. Cleburne County still has a window of opportunity. They're down two scores, but they need a score here. Bubble screen pass to Cosby as he wanted to throw the ball, recovers the lateral, and he'll get spun around, and the whistle blows to mark him down back at the 15-yard line. It appeared they wanted a wide receiver pass that time, but Cosby dropped the ball. So it'll be a loss from the 25, the original line of scrimmage, back to the 15, so a loss of 10 yards on that lateral. When it had to be lateral because uh, well, otherwise they wouldn't have marked him back that they'd have gave him the ball back at the line of scrimmage. Because I saw Cosby raise up like he wanted to throw and looked as if he threw before he had the ball. Approaching nine minutes to go, snap and throwing down the field into coverage and it's incomplete. Freeman, the intended receiver around the 40-yard line as that throw was coached into double coverage incomplete. Should have been another interception right there. It hit the DB right in the hands. So 8.59 to go on the stadium clock here at Cherokee County High School. 24 to 10 as Cherokee County has led wire to wire looking to secure their spot in the 2021 Class 4A playoffs. Line to reach for the first down will be around the 35, as will be the keeper up the middle for the quarterback McGrin as he'll get back to the 20 yard line no further, as will be a fourth and long and the punting unit comes out. Punting time for the Cleburne County Tigers is Amos, the returner, for Cherokee County will set up around his 48 yard line. Now with clock becoming a factor, the time becoming a factor for Cleburne County, they have to get a three and out or some cut type of turnover. Short punt goes across the 45 and on that turf field gets a good Cleburne County roll across the 45 to about the 44 yard line with 8-11 to go in the ball game. The 2021 season of the FNN Game of the Week sponsored by the Calhoun County Commission. If you're looking for the perfect place to live or start a new business, take a look at what Calhoun County has to offer. First down and 10, approaching eight minutes to go in the ball game as Cleburne County looking to keep their playoff hopes alive and Cherokee County looking to secure that playoff spot. Looks like it'll be Gresham, the Wildcat quarterback, coming out in the shotgun. He'll get the snap and will give off to Ramsey, who will bounce it out to the near side, lowers that shoulder, and gets just shy of midfield on about a five-and-a-half, maybe six-yard gain on first down. And that's a two-headed monster when you got Gresham and Ramsey back there because you don't know which one. Uh, two excellent uh, runners back there. You don't know which one. It's going to uh, get the ball, so you got to be aware. Either one of them can break it, you know, for the distance. 740 left in the game on a second down and four right at midfield. Gresham will get the call, gets spun around, stays on his feet, still on his feet and trying to keep that play alive. Give Gresham a, a lot of credit for his effort, but he's taken down in the backfield for a loss of one, as you see, a couple of those defenders for Cleburne County and Adams, as well as Dingler, the linebackers on the tackle. So third down and about five to go as we will have a stoppage in play. At least a little mini water break, but reminds us that the FNN Game of the Week is sponsored by Young Oil Grub Mart, home of the 99-cent bag of ice and everybody's favorite, the popcorn bucket. Buy yours and get free popcorn refills for an entire year. Out of the timeout, third down and five, line to reach the 46, and an early start 
for the Cleburne County defense as that will certainly move it closer to what could be an I care Alabama first down on an offside. And looks like on the penalty, indeed, it's going to be an I care Alabama first down and a free I care Alabama first yeah, down for the Warriors. Absolutely, and that's what you don't want to do at this time. You know, you're down by 14. You want to minimize the penalties. First down in 10 as the give will go straight up the gut. As that'll get about a couple yards, maybe three yards. Looks like for Ramsey. We've seen Ramsey and Mitchell, but check that this time was Tay Diamond getting the call to senior. He has a touchdown. Gresham has a touchdown. Ramsey has a touchdown as well. So uh, a lot of the production kind of spread around offensively for Cherokee County tonight. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, Ramsey have made quite a few plays on defense as well, though. Looks like another early start for Cleburne County as the linebacking core that time. Looks like one of – check that deep pro throw along the defensive line getting the early start and costing his team a free five yards – to benefit Cherokee County. So it'll be a second and one to go. And now the call up the middle again to, looks like Ramsey that time, wearing that number 88 in honor of a fallen teammate in Caleb Pittman who died in an auto accident two years ago. Now Pittman would have been a senior this season and with it being senior night, Ramsey decided to honor his fallen teammate. And Rams is a big back, too. He is a huge back, you know, has uh, good speed and uh, very good instincts. So. Another hard count that time, this time by Hopper, the throwing quarterback. And for the third time in this drive, Coach, an offside on Cleburne County. That's just a lack of discipline right there. You got to get them out there, you know. I. You know, if you jump off sides one time, okay, I can understand that. But if you do it two and three times in the same drive, you know, that's just a lack of discipline. Defense watch the football. That's all you do. So first down and five yards to go. A previous I care Alabama first down. As Hopper will remain in the game at quarterback. As Diamond gets wrapped up right as he got the carry for a loss. As you see number 72 that time along the defensive front for Cleburne County, one of the game captains for tonight in Clanton on the stop. This is the final home game of the regular season for Cherokee County. Now, if they are able to come up with a win tonight and if they can at least maybe at the very worst when that tiebreaker with Anderson would get that second seed and host a first round home game. Here's the snap on second and long and this will be the give to the special number 88 in Damian Ramsey as he'll get stopped for a loss and another late flag on the play. The flag blown right after the whistle had stopped play. And we've seen more than our fair share of unsportsmanlike calls and also personal foul calls after the whistle. Let's see what Mr. Buckaloo has. Another personal foul on Cleburne County. Seen a little bit of chippy play tonight from both teams, Coach, as far as numerous flags after the whistle. A lot on the line. You'd like some aggressive football out there for both teams, but maybe a little bit of chippiness after the whistle. Absolutely. So the penalty gives Cherokee County another I care Alabama first down. And we'll have a timeout called for the second of three this half for Cleburne County as we're down to 423 left in the ball game. There's your number for the I Care Alabama first down with their locations all across our area in East Alabama. Timeout. We'll go ahead and keep it here and remind you as well not only about our big time game of the week coming up next Friday, which you see on your screen, which will decide the Region 6 title out of Class 5A, Alexandria and Leeds High School. 
as we'll make the trip to Alexandria next Friday, our usual 6.30 airtime, and that's 7 o'clock kickoff. As if you miss any of our presentations, whether our broadcasted games of the week or Tuesday night's FNN Coaches Show, you can see those on demand on YouTube, on Facebook, on practically most major social media platforms. So a first down and 10. Shotgun for Hopper. Just milking that play clock as it will now go down under 10 seconds. You'll have Diamond and Mitchell, the running backs. This, this will be the counter give to Mitchell up the middle, makes a move, and inside the 10-yard line, and he'll get an I Care Alabama first down to the 10-yard line as the clock will momentarily stop to move the sticks. But this late in the game now, Coach, the Cherokee County can punch this one across for the touchdown. Maybe even a field goal would put this game away. Absolutely. If they punch this one in right here, it's going to be uh... – all up here for Cleveland County, you know, being down uh, three touchdowns. That's, that's pretty tough. It'll be a shotgun formation as we now approach that four-minute mark in the ball game. Back split in the shotgun as you Hopper will get the snap and gives off to his running back in Mitchell as he'll get inside the five-yard line to about the three. Again, a solid gain that time of about seven or so. So second and goal from the three-yard line. As we've seen touchdowns each tonight for Gresham, who got the opening score of the night, as well as Ramsey. And also check that Tay Diamond with the touchdown to begin the third quarter offensively for Cherokee County. One touchdown for Cantrell for Cleburne County as the snap and the give up the middle to Mitchell as he plunges his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Cherokee County. Just a simple play that time up the middle, but more than gets the job done. We're just a little inside zone. That's all it is. Just, just a little inside zone, Ron. Four ticks over three minutes. Three minutes, four seconds left in tonight's ball game as Daniel Mejia has converted all of his kicks, three PATs, and a short, basically PAT-like field goal in the first half. One of those seniors honored in pregame festivities as his kick is up and it is good. So we'll take the timeout. 31 to 10. Cherokee County with the lead as we're closing down the final minutes of tonight's ball game here on the FNN Game of the Week. Aniston Auto Trim and Body Shop is your best stop for full-service auto body repair, including all body work and professional painting. They also specialize in complete classic car restoration. When you have an accident, you want it back the way it was, and that's what you get with the team at Aniston Auto Trim. The same is true if you're ready to restore your dream car or a timeless family classic. They work with all major insurance companies and provide free estimates for every job. Come by today and see Stacy Jennings and the gang at Aniston Auto Trim and Body Shop, just up the hill off Quintard on Greenbrier Deer Road. Three minutes, four seconds left in tonight's ball game as Daniel Mejia will kick off. A three-score lead for Cherokee County. In fact, their largest lead of the night at that three-touchdown margin. James Hardy and the coach Eddie Bullock with you as we'll be down in Alexandria next week for Alexandria and Leeds. A top five matchup among some of the top teams in 5A in the state very much. I think we're all looking forward to that game next week as well, but still have a little bit of uh, homework on the back end to take care of here in center Alabama. Cherokee County, three minutes and four seconds away from punching their ticket to the playoffs. And at least at last report, Aniston with the lead over top-ranked Handley. And if that score stands... And the way this game is going right now, that would mean that Cleburne County would be on the outside looking in as far as the postseason because of the tiebreaker losing to Jacksonville last week. And you'd also have a three-way tie on the top with each one of those, Cherokee County, Anderson, and uh, Handley will all have one loss. That's right. 
The penalty yards on another unsportsmanlike conduct moved up to the 40, and Mejia will just punch it out of the end zone for the touchback. Winding down the last few moments of tonight's ball game here in Center, Alabama. It's Cherokee County on their way to the postseason, and you look at really for both coaches doing solid jobs with their programs. For Joby Burns, his third season at the helm of Cleburne County, but as their program has progressively uh, inched forward as far as the win columns in each of his first three seasons. As you see the profile for Burns in his third season, 9-18 and 18, that career record, but already four wins coming into tonight's ball game. And Jacob Kelly, though, doing a solid job himself for Cherokee County. Here's McGrin under pressure as he'll look for help and now throw at least intermediately complete to the 25-yard line. That'll gain about five yards that time right, on the play. He's reaching out for all the extra yards he could get. That he was. That he was, coaches. It was Cosby, J.J. Cosby that time on the reception. So gain of about five, snap, and under pressure McGrin. He'll keep it himself and gets the I Care Alabama first down to the 35-yard line where he'll fall forward there. He'll stop the clock momentarily to move the chains. But they need a lot of points, does Cleburne County in very miraculous fashion as it stands right now with 2.25 left in the game. Three receivers to the near side. A grin with the snap and the quick throw to the far side. That will be caught by Freeman the first time he's caught a pass tonight for five yards. Hurry up, no huddle. Two-minute offense for Cleburne County. A loss for Cleburne County and a win for Aniston would knock Cleburne County out of the playoff picture. Less than two minutes to go as McGrin will step up and looks as if he'll keep it himself and turns it up field and gets the I Care Alabama first down into Cherokee County territory as he'll be spotted around the 45 of the Warriors. So a first down, first down run of 15 yards. Well, move the sticks, but the clock rolling toward a Cherokee County senior night win. Two down linemen as the snap and the throw is knocked down. No, it's a flag on the play off the far side of the field. With 127 to go, the flag thrown in the defensive backfield of Cherokee County, so once again, a busy night for Mr. Buckaloo, the head referee, to tell us at least what the penalty was on. Well, they're still sorting things out right in the middle of the field. And it appears that the penalty will be on the home squad at Cherokee County. It's like pass interference or maybe a ho defensive holding penalty. Right, you got a holding penalty. So that's a 10-yard mark off. Another I Care Alabama first down on the yellow hanky. As McGrin will give it off to his running back as he'll go up the middle and it gets close to another first down. As it appears we have, I think, another flag on the play. Well, that one was on the outside over there. It was something between the receiver and the defensive back over there. I don't know if it was a hole or what. Cantrell once again on the carry. He does have Cleburne County's lone touchdown in the second quarter on a 67-yard touchdown scamper. Seeing a whole lot of yellow hankies. They're going to have to clean off a lot of those yellow hankies after the game tonight, Coach, along with some of the game gear for both teams. Yeah, you had several penalties. Uh, Another unsportsmanlike. light. In fact, both teams a little a little chippy that time after the play. I don't know what exactly has been going on between both teams as we'll have a timeout called for on the field. A timeout on the field with 30, with 120 left in tonight's ball game and a 31 to 10 edge for Cherokee County on the FNN High School Football Game of the Week. 
Your neighborhood Grub Mart is your one-stop shop for everything you need when you're on the go. Grub Mart features the best prices on Coke and Pepsi products and is the home to the 99-cent bag of ice every day. And Grub Mart is your exclusive home for the popcorn bucket. Purchase yours for only $5.99, then bring it for free refills throughout the year. And save every day with your Grub Mart Super Saver card. When you're on the go, it's good to know Grub Mart has everything you need. Gas, diesel, and delicious Oleo donuts. In business over 78 years, visit your local Grub Mart today. Football game of the week winding its way down toward the finish line tonight. 120 left in tonight's ball game with Cherokee County leading wire to wire up by their largest margin of 31 to 10. Cleburne County with the ball as we're coming out of the timeout. Football at the Cherokee County 35. Two receivers each side. Shotgun as rolling to the near side will be McGrin as he'll throw it for all it's worth into the end zone and that appears to be intercepted and no, touchdown. Touchdown reception on a jump ball that time and that'll give Cleburne County their second touchdown of the night. Yeah, I couldn't quite tell, like looking down in the corner, it looked like the defensive back was in front and uh, I thought he made a play on it. McGrin throwing into double coverage, and I think that's Freeman that time, number 80. I was able to come up. That's some good concentration that time also, Coach, to make that touchdown catch. Right, well, he lost space. The defensive back lost space. You know, any time you got arm distance space, that's, that's a little bit too much. Officially on the touchdown grab of 35 yards for Andrew Adams. As the PAT up and good to make it 31 to 17 with 111 left in tonight's ball game. We'll take the time out here on the FNN High School Football Game of the Week. Cofield Asphalt Refinishing is Northeast Alabama's go-to source for exterior parking lot maintenance. We provide a broad range of products and services in the asphalt seal coating and striping industry. Whether it's for a commercial or industrial customer or helping serve other contractors like ourselves, we're here to serve our community with over 25 years experience. Get a free estimate. Call us at 256-454-5336 or contact Cofield Asphalt Refinishing. Final moments of tonight's ball game as the 35 yard touchdown pass from McGrin to Andrew Adams, the senior wide receiver, makes it a two touchdown ball game and the onside kick will be fielded cleanly for Cherokee County as Hayden Wheeler, who's had a good night defensively, comes up and makes the textbook grab and plays the onside kick aggressively and gets the easy recovery. So at this point, coach, Cherokee County will probably just take a few knees, maybe just a couple dive plays alternatively as well. But either way, they will be rolling their way to victory and a playoff spot. Right, and they only have uh, a minute, nine seconds left. So, you know, they got one timeout. So they'll be able to stop the clock once. In fact, it'll be the primary throwing quarterback in Cade Hopper that will take the knee. We'll maybe need to do so one more time as we're approaching that one minute mark left in the game. Now, Coach, after tonight, there will be postseason for Jacob Kelly's squad, who's done an excellent job in developing from the ground up in his third season for Cherokee County, building as far as the strength and conditioning, but uh, also as far as using that strength and conditioning uh, certainly in the couple of games he mentioned to me earlier this week to help catapult them to victory early in the season. And I think maybe that strength and conditioning and that stamina may have also helped them tonight. Absolutely. Well, Heflin always been, uh, I mean, uh, Cherokee County always been known for, uh, you know, being a pretty strong and having a good workout program as well as Cleveland County. But, uh, you know, I think their stamina just, you know, they outlasted them. Leads at Alexandria, our game of the week, the FNN game of the week next week as the final knee for Hopper as we come to the end, to the finish line of tonight's ball game with Cherokee County 
securing and punching their tickets to the playoffs with a 31-17 victory over Cleburne County. We'll begin our post-game coverage after this timeout. In Alabama, school spirit is in the air on Friday nights. At Farmers and Merchants Bank, we're giving our customers the opportunity to show their school spirit every day with our new Spirit Debit Card. We've designed a unique card for every Calhoun County school that includes the school's logo. So every time you use the card, you're showing your school spirit. Come in and get your school spirit debit card today. We've got spirit at f and Bank. Service, solutions, and strength. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Advantage Tire and Alignment on Highway 202 in Anniston is so much more than just a new tire and rim shop. There's not enough time in this ad to tell you all the many things they can do to help keep your car in tip-top shape. Advantage Tire uses ASE certified technicians, so you know any work done is top-notch. Bottom line, if it needs repaired or replaced, they can probably do the job and save you money. And when it comes time for new or used tires and rims, Advantage Tire and Alignment prices just can't be beat. Stop in and see Bruce and the crew today. Advantage Tire and Alignment. Did you know Kona Ice can help you fundraise for your school? It's true. It's quick, it's easy, and the kids absolutely love having Kona Ice. We'll let you in on a little secret. Teachers love it too. So, how can we help you fundraise this year? It's quick. It's easy, the kids love it, and teachers love it too. The Calhoun County Commission, made up of J.D. Hess, Tim Hodges, Fred Wilson, Eli Henderson, and Lee Patterson, ask you to take a look at what Calhoun County has to offer. With our beautiful parks, neighborhoods, recreational facilities, historic sites, and museums, our citizens enjoy a high quality of life and strongly support the arts. If you are considering expanding or starting a new business, take a look at what Calhoun County has to offer. You'll be glad you did. Our final score from Cherokee County High School as the Warriors of Cherokee County knock off Cleburne County 31-17 to in a wire-to-wire -wire victory. James Hardy and the coach, Eddie Bullock, with you from Center, Alabama as we begin our postgame and wrap up tonight's coverage of our FNN High School Football Game of the Week on Senior Night for Cherokee County. Now, don't forget Tuesday night, from Strut Swings in Oxford, Alabama for the FNN Coaches Show every Tuesday from 7 to 8.30 right here on FNN, on Facebook Live, on YouTube, on Roku, on practically all of those major uh, social media platforms. And our FNN Game of the Week for the game-winning kick at ARAB last Friday night, Ray Barrera gets our FNN game of the week hardware much deserved this week as far as that game winning kick that player of the week in uh, that clutch kick in big time win for Oxford last week and find out in just a couple of days right around the corner who our FNN player of the week will be for this week and we'll be back with you at 6.30 next Friday night for one of the biggest games in Class 5A in the state of Alabama all season long. Leeds at Alexandria, a battle of top five teams in the Alabama Sports Writers Association poll coming in to this week. And before we go, Coach, your final thoughts on tonight. Well, a great uh, game tonight. Uh, you know, Cherokee County was just a little bit too strong for them. And, uh, you know, Cleveland County missed some opportunities. But that's, that's the bounce of the ball. Absolutely. Great job by our folks behind the scenes for their hard work, for the excellent uh, camera work tonight. And also a big thanks to Jim Jacobs as well behind the scenes and as part of our uh, pregame coverage as well. And for the coach, Eddie Bullock, James Hardy signing off 
As your final score, you see Cherokee County 31, Cleburne County 17. We'll be in Alexandria next week. So for all of our fine folks that we just mentioned, have a great rest of your Friday night and a wonderful weekend as you have been watching the FNN High School Football Game of the Week.